All right guys, so we're in Denver right now. Kind of a weird place to start a video. I feel like this morning was pretty chaotic. We arrived at the airport 45 minutes before a flight. I guess my bag was late check-in. Might not get my bag today. Um, we'll see. Hopefully it's on the next flight. We're on our way to Dallas. We have one more flight to go. It's actually about to board right now, so we're about to head over there. Look at this one. Oh, bro, where are we? Where are we right now? Edward, Edward is on his way. We pick him up at like five. We're just gonna kill some time, see what the vibes are like. We'll see what happens. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, what is Zay pulling up in? Oh, shit. Oh, what up, boys? <laughs> Is, it, is this like the shittiest room that I got? Yeah. No, yes, no, because no. you got the rest. Oh my God. If someone's dying, if someone's breaking in to kill us, I'm the first one dying. We got a garage entry, a front door entry, a fucking a patio entry, and we got a window entry by, <laughs> in my bathroom. Bro, I'm dying first. Holy shit. Yeah. Wow. This is fancy. We just made it to TCU. Campus is looking pretty dry, so we're hoping people are in the library. Like, comment, subscribe, and yeah. <laughs> Message from love of my life, Pookie Bear Ide Vadivilana Kangaludan Kudi Sirita Mugam, Siva Punira Ideyam. When you come over tonight, can you please bring my vibrator? We should try something new. I kinda want to put it in your butt. I know you don't tea like butt stuff, but we have already had an orgy. This is too graphic on text, so let's talk in person. Love you, Suji Plum Gum Drop. Kisses. Is this playing out loud? Is this out loud? Is that loud? You heard that? You have received a new text from Professor Glenn. Greetings, Pookie. Your final on the female reproductive system did not pass. But if you want to come to my office after hours and do something for me, maybe I can give you a passing grade. Keep this text between you and me. Would love to see you before break. That was out loud. That was out loud. <laughs> Wait, did you hear all of it? Did you hear all of it? No. You didn't? No. Oh, thank God. That's embarrassing. Yikes. You got a new text from Sneaky Link. Sarah, hey, I have some bad news. I'm sorry I lied to you from the beginning, but I got word from my doctor that I tested positive for chlamydia. I shouldn't have gaslit you. I'm just a whore, please call me back. Oh, fuck, you heard that, bro? <laughs> Bro, she gave me the clap, bro. Dude, it happens. It's curable, though. You know, that's a good one. If you're gonna get one, that's a good one to get. I thought she was the one, though. Fuck. I thought something was wrong with me. Do I, do I just go to a doctor or something, or what? Urgent care. Urgent care? I think they got stuff for that, I don't know. Fuck, bro. Not the clap, bro. What's your name, bro? Jackson. Jackson? Thank you, bro. Should I dump her? It, you know, uh, I, I would say so. Yeah. I think. yeah. Damn. She seems so innocent, too. Yeah. Those are usually the worst ones. You got a new text from therapist Susan. I'm sorry to hear about your experience with P. Diddy. I had no idea he used you as a rag doll. The way you described the things he did to you made me want to cry. 
That's so messed up I listen to all of his songs. I love his music but I won't be listening to his music anymore. Him and Jeffrey Epstein must have been sick lovers. Text me back to schedule another session. Susan. Oh, bro, did y'all hear that? <laughs> oh, fuck. 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 You got a voice message from Sugar Poppy. Hello, my Prince Charming. Thank you for last night. You made me feel feelings I've never felt before. You make my toes curl. This is something only a girl can wish for. You make me feel like a Disney princess. I just PayPal'd you $100. Enjoy. Hope I can see you soon. What was that playing? Was that out loud? Oh, fuck. Hey, a hundred bucks is a hundred bucks, right? You got a new text from Therapist Susan, I am sorry to hear about your experience with P. Diddy. I had no idea he used you as a rag doll. The way you described the things he did to you made me want to cry. That's so messed up I listen to all of his songs. I love his music but I want to be listening to his music anymore. Him and Jeffrey Epstein must have been sick lovers. Text me back to schedule another session. Susan. Uh, y'all, did you, did you, did y'all, you didn't hear that, did you? Did you hear that? Okay. Oh, fuck. So I just realized that I forgot to film an outro, but if you guys did enjoy this video, show some love, like, comment, subscribe, give me some suggestions on what I should do for the next video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.